I recently solved the problem and went ahead and just divided out my x squareds to give the final answer of 3x plus 2 divided by 1 plus 2x. Now, is that magic or is that math? I realize a lot of students get confused on this. Why is it you can just divide out those denominators and just take the numerator? So it really just all comes into understanding our fraction division. If I had 1 fourth divided by a 1 third, there's a couple different ways we could look at it. We could rewrite this as a 1 fourth divided by a one-third, and then recognize, oh yeah, when you're dividing fractions, you can simply just rewrite that as the multiplication of your divisor, of the reciprocal of your divisor. So that'd be a three over one. I like that approach, and it's easy for students to remember it, but in my opinion, I prefer one more different way to look at it. If I have one-fourth divided by a one-third, I don't wanna divide by one-third. I want to divide by one, right? Because five divided by one is five. So if I wanna get rid of this one-third, I wanna multiply it by its reciprocal. One-third times three over one is just gonna be one. Whatever I do in my denominator, I have to do in my numerator. That's how we get this one-fourth times a three over one. So in this case, if you can see, if I multiply by this reciprocal, right, which is simply a x squared divided by one plus two x, whatever I do in my denominator, I have to make sure I do it in my numerator. And what I want you to recognize here is this goes to one, and then here, the x squareds go to one, leave me with my final solution of a three x plus two divided by a one plus two x.